my name is Rose Hudson Wilkin, the Reverend Rose Hudson Wilkin. I am the chaplain to the Speaker of the House of Commons. I'm also a chaplain to Her Majesty the Queen. And I have a parish in the city, St. Mary at Hill Church, which is off East Cheaper. So that, in a nutshell, is my work. Two tips for success, which I think has helped me in my vocation. Um, I think one has got to be a reliance on God. I believe in God. That is my work and my life. And uh, it is important uh, that one recognizes that we're not just physical beings. And so if we're not just physical beings in the same way we take care of the body, then we also need to take care of the spirit or the soul. And so spending time of quiet reflection and not just constantly having noise in your head or the music or the phone, etc. cetera, on. Um, so, so that is important to me. And um, those times of reflection prepares me and equips me for the next day or the next thing that I'm going to do. The, the next one, I think, is... Uh, a belief, a belief that you can, and a belief that we all can. And I say both those together. I have three children. The same thing I have wanted for my three children, I have wanted for everybody else's children. So I'm not going to be content because my children are successful to think, okay, that's it now. I'm going to seek for it for other people's children because our children must connect with each other. They must relate to each other. And so the African saying, it takes a village to raise a child. I see all children as my children. So if I see them on the bus, I stop them and I say, you know, you're wearing your uniform, you know, represent your school well, etc., cetera, et cetera. Um, So it is about a sense of being in community. I am because you are. And together, we build the community, and that's where success comes from. And those of us who are more fortunate to, um, to be able to, to have grown into a role or whatever, then we have a responsibility to enable others, to encourage others, and to support others too, to become the best that they can be. My, my, my nephew had a little thing over his desk that said, uh, no limitations rule my effort. I will achieve. I will excel. I will overcome obstacles. I have the potential for greatness. And I believe that, not just for me, but for everyone. Women of African descent uh, um, and from the Caribbean, um, We've gone through a lot, and if we haven't done it personally, we know that our parents and our grandparents have gone through a lot. And, you know, when you think of how they came through, our great, 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 came through being enslaved and yet survived. We talk about the, the strongest survive, so we are from strong stuff. And we must not take that lightly. We must not... We must not throw away what our great, great, great grandparents achieved. They survived, so we must thrive. We must not just be content with being mediocre. Mediocrity should never be a part of our lives. We should thrive on the foundation that our great, great, great grandparents won for us. Um, and I think if we can do that, we will rarely be an integral part of the success story of Great Britain. That is what will make Britain great, and not their empire days, which is clouded, but what we achieve and our children's generation. What's the difference between success and happiness or the link? I think uh, anyone can be successful. But true happiness comes from deep within. And we, we know, we've heard of people who've won the lottery. <laughs> but it doesn't bring them joy. 
It doesn't bring them joy. So you may have 10 fancy cars on your drive or a big fancy house with swimming pool and whatever else. But if you haven't got that depth of spirit that tells you who you are, where you're coming from and where you are rooted, then that's all stuff and stuff the hurricanes will come and it will take it away. The earthquake will come, it will take it away. Um, one of the wonderful things that I remembered when we had a, a Gilbert hurricane in Jamaica, which did a lot of damage, the very next day, somehow people were wearing T-shirts that said, I survived Gilbert. They had joy, they had happiness because they knew who they were and they knew that that was just stuff. So I think for me, that's the difference between success and real happiness. They can go together, but you can have a, a success that is here today and gone tomorrow and, um, and not built on a true foundation of real joy and happiness. Thank you.